Hey guys, so today I'll be doing a tutorial on Chanel's Cruise Collection for 2014-15. The models wore this amazing black smoky eye with double wing and then they had gold leaf on their inner corners and as soon as I saw the look I was like mmm, -hmm, mmm. -hmm. Mm -hmm. See, I was just in the mood for something a little bit more extreme today. I know you're not going grocery shopping with this or whatever, but it's great for like a party or if you have like an, a Chanel inspired party, you can rock this. You can be like, I'm cruise 2014-15, baby. So yeah, without any further ado, if you want to know how to get the Chanel look, which I really like this, uh, then please keep watching. All right, so the first thing I'll be doing is prepping my face and putting sort of a moisturizer slash primer on, and I'll be using a sample size of the Chanel LeBlanc Illuminating Sheer Base something, and I'll just be rubbing that into my face. Definitely still think this is a very um, unique and rare texture because it's thick, and it feels very um, moisturizing, but on the other hand, it doesn't. It's unique. I don't have words for it. Since this is a Chanel inspired look, I am gonna try to grab as many Chanel products as I can throughout this entire video. So for a foundation, I'll be using my Chanel Vita Lumiere Aqua Foundation in number 10 beige. But because I want that to have a little bit more coverage, I am gonna mix some MAC Select Cover Up into the mix and apply it to the face. And I'm buffing this in using my Makeup Geek foundation stippling brush. I still love it like no other. All right, I'm actually really impressed by that. It is dewy, healthy looking, and it still looks like skin. It hasn't lost that skin texture. I absolutely love this finish. I'm gonna wear this way more often now. Now it's time for concealer, and of course I'll be using my MAC Pro Longwear in NC15, and uh, that's about it that I'm using today. I'm not gonna highlight anything crazy. I'm just gonna highlight under my eyes. And I'll be blending this in with my favorite Sigma Taper Kabuki brush in F86, and I'm just stippling that in. I again want to thank Jaclyn Hill for this amazing recommendation because it works like heaven. Okay, and once I've got that all on, I'm going to powder my face using my Chanel Neutralose Finish Powder in Claire 20, my favorite powder ever. And I'm quickly going to do brows and one eye off camera. I am going to try to keep my brows a little bit more natural. Um, I'm probably going to fail at it, but you know, the thought is there, so that's what counts. So yeah, I'll be doing that all off camera, and then I'll be back. Ta -ta -ta. To prime my eyes, I'll be starting off with my Soft Ochre Paint Pot from MAC. Now I'm taking the Saucebox Etude Palette, and I'll be using the black called Toffee and Almond, the sort of grayish taupe color. And I'm going to start off by tracing my crease. And you really want to look straight forward into a mirror and map it out. You don't want to go too high, you don't want to go too low, you just want it to be that if you look straight forward, it has a little bit of a black line there. I'm also going to connect that to the very, very inner corner. So when I look straight into the camera, you can just see that line peeking through and that is what you want. Then with the black only, I'm going to make my shape on the outer part, and that is just starting off with a winged liner. Flicking it out slowly, and then once you have that from there, you want to go back into your crease and meet up with that first line. And now gradually, you want to build this up and give it more structure. So give it a little bit more body here and just keep in mind that you want to look straight forward into a mirror and you want this to sort of just jump a little bit out of the crease. Now I'm going to fill that in using a little bit of Makeup Geek's eyeshadow in Galaxy. And I'll also be taking this Chanel Quad and this is the Tisse Gabrielle and I'm taking the darkest color in that and mixing it with Makeup Geek's Galaxy. And with this just fill this entire area in. 
Now it's time to blend that out a little bit more. So I'm going to take that same Chanel quad and mixing the darkest color with that silvery pewtery color. And that is going to be my blending color. So very slowly, I'm just going to put my brush on that line and wiggle up just the tiniest bit. And just really softly start diffusing that line and make it a little bit softer. And then with a slightly bigger blending brush, keep diffusing that line. I think this is what will take most of you guys the longest. For the bottom, you want to start off and take that black again and with a straight line come out of the bottom lash line. And then what you want to do is flick it out. And then from there, go back in and thicken it a little. And now what I'm going to do is trace that entire lower lash line all the way to the inner corners. And I find this part here to be a little bit too skinny. So I'm giving that more body. For a pop of white gold, I'm going to take this PowerPoint eye pencil by MAC, and this is called Gilded White. And with this, I'm going right in between those two lines. And then from the Chanel quad, taking this light white gold color, patting that right on top for a little bit more sparkle. On the waterline, I'm applying some Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil in Black Fever. Then for some sparkle on the lid, I'll be taking this pressed pigment by MAC called Jet Couture. And to make it look liquidy, I'm gonna mix it with this sealing gel by Illamasqua. So first, I'm dabbing some of that sealing gel onto the place where I want Jet Couture to go. And dab that on top. You really want to pat it. As soon as you wipe this on, your entire face will be a black, glittery mess. We're going to take the gold leaf, and what they did was stick gold leaf with some lash glue, not entirely on the tear duct area, but sort of more between the nose bridge and the tear duct area, which makes it so much more sparkly and intense and nice. So I'm just going to take a little bit of this gold leaf and uh, put some lash glue right here and then stick it on. Now it's time for lashes. I'll be using my XO Beauty Shen XO's brand, uh, the Glamouristas. And for my bottom lashes, I'm gonna take the Velour Kardashians. So let's go on to cheeks. What I'm first gonna do, as always, is give myself a little bit of contouring because I know the models at the show didn't really have a lot of contouring going on, but come on. I don't really have the face shape that they have. And as always, I'm using my Illamasqua Heroin Eyeshadow for that. I noticed that their blush was placed a little bit more on top of the cheekbones right here, but there still was a little bit of warmth going on. So I'm going to take my Disobey by Illamasqua, and just the slightest bit is going on my forehead, on the tops of the cheekbones, a little bit on the nose, chin, neck, wherever. Now for blush, I'm going to take the Yves Saint Laurent Kiss and Blush Baby Doll in number eight, and I'm going to put a little bit on the back of my hand. I'm just going to take a little bit of that and tap it on the highest points, a little bit more back of my cheekbones, of the cheeks. So it's really a lot higher up, and then blend it really softly. And for highlighter, I'm going to take the tiniest bit of the Balm's Merry Luminizer just to get that glow going. For lips, you want to keep it nude and a little bit glossy with a pop of color. So for lipstick, I'm going to go with Chanel's Radieuse. And then a little bit of the 186 lip gloss. And this is so bright and so intense. And oh my god. And go on top. So 
So that guys concludes this tutorial on Chanel's Cruise Collection 2014-15 uh, makeup look. If you want a full list of every single product mentioned and used throughout this entire video, go to my website NikkiTutorials.com. You can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. That all is Nikki Tutorials. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you liked it, of course. Duh. That's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed and hope I will see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.